Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from Agreement Staff Research Company and I'm here to teach you how to prepare your weather data and like climate data for your SAP model. So the thing you need here is a text file and I have an example for you to see what you're seeking. So here you have a text file. You can see that um, there are data listed here. And the first line should be the starting date of your data set. It should be in Julian days and it should be the first Julian day of the year. So for example, my model starts at um, 1990 year and my starting date is uh, the first day of uh, this year. So I have listed all the data to the end and that's my file. But um, of course you don't have this file at first, you have an Excel file like this. You should list it in your Excel file like that and um, if you note I have two columns here First is the Julian dates and the second one is Shamsi dates because I'm using, um, I mean Iran and like the source dates, the, uh, the source data uh, that I get um, are listed in Shamsi dates. So I have to list them and then um, convert them to the Julian dates. So. And that's it for these files. And another thing I want to mention here is that um, the missing data in these files um, that you want to inform to your SWAT model, the missing data are shown as minus 99. So um, that's the format. Oh, I'm sorry. So that's the format of informing um, missing data. So that's it for these files. And another thing you should know is that um, when you have listed all your data for each station, for example, you have seven stations in your study area. You have seven um, weather stations for your PCP file, for example, uh, precipitation uh, data. And then you have made seven um, files like that, seven text files like that for each station, okay? You name them. Then you should have a PCP fork. What is PCP fork? In SWAT, you don't inform files for every single stations, okay? So if you have seven stations for precipitation, you just give one file or and stations. I don't I don't know. For example, 24 stations you have for precipitation. Then you just have one file given to SWAT that its name is PCP fork. And what you have there, the first line is ID, name, latitude, longitude, and elevation. And then you list all those, for example, whatever, 9 or 10 or 20 or whatever stations there. The, the thing is that here the name of um, the, the name you write here should be exactly the same as the name you have for these text files prepared. Okay, so I have for example Andarob and the spellings, the uh, big letters and all the things are exactly the same as here. I uh, recommend you just copy and paste it. It's better and the you know safest way. And another one you can see. Okay, this is um this is this is not the file. Uh, I have this one for example. Okay, and that's it. You make a PCB fork, a temperature fork, and other things you. Follow the same procedure for each um, climate, for each weather parameter you have, and then you inform them to your sweat. So I just cut a minute for now and come back 
in swap model to see how you should inform them to your swap model. So I'll be back. So as you can see here, I loaded my swap model here. I just go to write input tables, weather stations. Uh, if you remember in my last video that I taught just making the model, I used um, simulated uh, simulated data for weather data. Now I'm uh, going to use rain gauge here. So the first thing is that weather generator data should be chosen. So it's WGN user and then rainfall data. I just go to uh, and uh, time step is my my data time step is daily so if you have sub daily or daily you just uh, choose it and then I go to um, my PCB fork I should inform my PCB fork here in order to make it right so that's it that's my PCB fork I will open it and then I go for temperature I just put it on climate stations and then go through um, temperature fork I will open it and I don't have data for those ones so I just put them on simulations and uh, click OK you can see the processing is complete and then you just go through uh, right side input tables and just check them all again and uh, create tables. I don't do it because um, you know I have done my model before so that's it for today's video and I hope you learned uh, something new. Make sure to subscribe and uh, like this video and also if you have any question in um, writing your weather data and running the model be because sometimes um, the model gives you an error while uh, reading the climate stations and climate data so if you have any question make sure to um, ask it in the comment sections i will see you on the next video and bye